I, I, I thought you were going to go do Lucina. Lucina. Yeah. 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 Like, you were hovering over L it, and I would have been, been a good, good choice. Yeah. I think Wolf does fine. It's just once he's in disadvantage, he kind of gets, like, shut down. Yeah. And Lucina is just good at stopping Roz from being able to float for free, yeah. just be in your face, because she just has every anti air I think it's a better matchup. True. Yeah. Hang on, yeah, asking a bit of advice for Peach. Such an unfun character to fight against, for being honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's cool. She's cool to watch. Oh, yeah, she's cool to watch, <laughs> fun to play, but once, once you're getting slow cancel back her three like, times on your bro. shield, you're thinking, like, why did, who approves it? <laughs> which which one of the devs, which one of the interns did this? Definitely one of the, like. How'd the, this get past Sakura? Like, you looked at the dev with, like, a bunch of, like, Peach memorabilia on his counter, <laughs> on his desk, he's sitting there with a grin on his face. <laughs> Yeah, I did this. <laughs> that was me. Right, here we go. We're going to kick off game number one between Shine and Nitro. It's going to be the Pokemon trainer, as we called it, and the Richter. So I do like the Pokemon trainer pick, especially because that downer hitbox is going to be, with Ivysaur, is going to be so key. Like, it is a massive hitbox. It is pretty much a brain dead, like, edge guard, especially on a character that's, like, has a as weak of a recovery as Richter does. Yeah, like, the only thing you need to like get good at is just timing it, and that just that just takes a bit of experience. Oh Jesus, dude! You, know, you also got to get good at like not getting back to the stage, <laughs> yeah, bro. Not, Let me not getting all this damage on you. Wait a minute, we didn't even get to see the Squirtle play. He actually slapped that Squirtle up for about thirty <laughs> seconds. Oh snap! And Squirtle is usually the character you like. I mean, you start off. Oh God! Holy water to S smash by the ledge. Only twenty four percent on Richter, as I was gonna say. Squirtle is the character you usually start off with because he does so much damage and he's so fast and nimble. He actually didn't even get an opener. <laughs> yeah. And and you see Shine switching to the Squirtle right now, too, because he knows, like, that's that's the game plan. Like, all right, I'm at low percent, so now I get to play Squirtle. Oh, SD. All right, so he's going um, he's going Lucas so next yeah, game. Definitely. <laughs> so let's talk about Lucas. <laughs> Let's talk about the next matchup. Um, right now, uh, that, that Squirtle definitely That's did not crazy. get to play the game at all so all far. Right. I, I definitely still want to see what Shine can do. How how badly can he bring this back right now? He's only got uh, Nitro at 55 right now. Great read off the ledge, getting that pivot grab. Up throw, up air goes for oh, whip. Yep, yeah, there, there we go. Momentum heavily in uh, Shine's favor right now, and the Charizard finally coming out to play. Yeah. Pokemon Trainer is definitely that momentum heavy character because Squirtle and Ivysaur, once they get that hit, they oh, just dude. they go they go for it. You're getting hits in, and then Ivysaur, you like you're you sweating. Died. <laughs> you died. You're sweating. You're getting hit by two up airs. All of a sudden, he's throwing out some whip. You don't know what's happening, dude. If Ivysaur has momentum and he, and they're pressing all the right buttons, you die. Yeah, Ivysaur momentum is just such a top tier. <laughs> Ivysaur, Ivysaur is probably my least favorite character to play against. Yo, oh. I don't like playing against that character. That looked like uh, Nitro individually bodied all, all three of his Pokemon. <laughs> that Squirtle slapped up immediately. He actually <laughs> combo contest him. The Ivysaur was just getting Dude. burned. <laughs> Dude, Richter, Richter, he'd be that man in the Pokemon world who, that, who goes out and he's like, I don't need Pokemon. I'll fight them myself. Right. He, he has like a nice little like Charmeleon <laughs> and a, like a Pidgeotto. Aren't you going to pull out your Pokemon? No, I don't need no. them. <laughs> he pulls them out just to make them watch. <laughs> Is brutal. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's gonna stick to the Pokemon trainer. I, de I, de I think he's probably thinking like, all right, I didn't Play. do as best as I could have right there. I definitely understand what I need to adjust. So I think he's gonna try to slow it down. Yeah, now. especially since he's going to Kalos, which is extremely wide and very big uh, blast zones as well. So yeah, such a good Pokemon trainer stage, honestly. Yeah, with the platforms on the side as well, it, like lets um, him kind of just retreat if he needs to. And if he has Charizard out, he can just flamethrower. But Jesus Christ, man. Also, nice little tidbit. Squirtle does have that wall cling. So, you know, oh, make man. use of it. I actually didn't even know Squirtle had a wall cling. It, Thanks for it telling actually me. doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. I can't. Like, I don't understand why it's there. But you know what? I'm not complaining. But it's speaking funny. of which, Shine again, not playing, really. Uh, I've never seen Nacho seem so comfortable in a matchup. Again, I know there are a couple of Pokemon trainers in the IE. I know there's Spanky, recently PR2. Oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't know he, he got PR'd this season. That's great. Yeah, but right now, Nitro is making some pretty quick work. Oh, he's gone? Nope. nope. Has a third jump? Oh, God. Oh, I think that axe might have saved him. Yeah. It was looking really close, but you know what? Uh, what isn't close this match so far? 22%. Only 22% Nitro still on his first stock. 
this Charizard, despite being so heavy, is pretty much always dead. He needed that oh, uh, did, the yes, armor so. on that up special right there to actually get through. Wow. I, I'd actually be so upset. He did, the armor didn't even go off. Three stocks again, 22%. We didn't touch him. Oh, my God. Bro, Nitro. Shine, someone do. I, I don't. Uh, he's I, going Lucas for sure. I don't. Yeah, definitely. I'm <laughs> definitely expecting the Lucas. That matchup's going to be. But really, w what I'm not liking from Shine is that he's he's just throwing himself at yeah, Nitro. You yeah. can't do that. He's not playing as patient as he needs to. I mean, only two minutes have transpired. He's already down to his last stock. But uh, oh. Nitro versus Razo. We saw the first game when Razo kept throwing himself at Nitro. He got the stock and three stock. So good. God, oh damn. My God. That's Nitro playing with fire right now. Let's see if Shine can answer back. Honestly, if I was if I was the Pokemon trainer right now, I'd say, can you like maybe not beat up my Pokemon? Listen, I'm sorry, you got you got it. On it on the Oh, FD, yep, Lucas. Lucas. So why 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 FD for Lucas? Uh, uh back in Smash 4 it was Lucas' best stage, you know, okay. all the footstool combos. I'm assuming it's his best stage now because you have all that room to just carry him across the stage with the double wide, jump yeah. cancels there. You have room to just retreat, do your zoning, so that makes sense. All right, so now we have game number three. Nitro one point away from moving on uh, I, into losers finals. I remember back a uh, back a while ago, Shine. I was asking Shine about what he thought about this matchup, and I my first thought to be like, oh, of course Lucas will probably win. You know, you can get in against him, and he has his reflector. Oh, and Shine's yeah, like, no, no. It, he's like, no, it's uh, kind of garbage for Lucas. He can't actually get in or play. Yeah, that's the thing. So Lucas, oh my god, the first stock deleted, 15% on Nitro. It's not looking like the character switch really did much uh, for Shine here. It's just I'm really, having trouble finding a way in. Yeah, I'm really questioning like what Shine is doing right now because against these holy water or yeah, these holy waters, you keep you keep seeing Shine neutral get up yeah. or in uh, jump into it. And he's he was like the first to tell me that the counterplay to that is you wanna just wait. You, yeah, you want to wait and then wait for it to be over to do something against it. Crazy. Wait a minute, like Edmund, Edmund. Didn't the match yeah, just start? It just started. He's only at 26%. Three stocks still, Nitro going off. I do think Shine might have been able to make it back with the PK Thunder if he had angled it upwards a little bit more. But at the same time, he would have been risking oh, uh, a punish whip from the, Nitro. Yeah. Whip the crap out of him. But hey, dude, I would I would rather get hit and then have a second opportunity to like recover. Cause this is this is looking abysmal. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Shine. Okay, he's got a little something going on, but a little something. You could have a little something going on, but you still have. Look at this. Look at this deficit. Oh, I like the down oh, air attempt. Dude. Misses the tech there. <gasps> oh my God, bro. That was so clean from Nitro. That was abuse, dude. That that was a child getting completely. Just not okay, dude. He, we need to call Child Protective Services. Yo, yo, up in this. Richter beat up a 10 year old child's <laughs> po pets, and then he beat up just yeah, a child. Yeah, dude. That's that, not cool, dude. That was uh, a. Richter, I thought Richter was supposed to be a good man. I thought he was supposed to defeat evil, not beat evil. I mean,